Welcome to the third of my coronavirus chat shows, which aim to show you what the world of hunting and shooting is up to while we're all in lockdown. Hair's getting a bit longer, I expect yours is too. Now, uh, you've probably heard a lot of manufacturers across Europe have been helping their local health services with uh, items like respirators and masks, and the gun trade is no exception. I spoke to Beretta, to Browning and to Blaser about what they've been up to. First up, Beretta. The situation at the moment uh, is uh, slightly better. Day by day, uh, numbers uh, are uh, slowing down, fortunately. Uh, the overall situation in terms of uh, people affected officially and uh, at the hospital, staying in the hospital, are uh, still very high overall, uh, especially in the area where we are, so Lombardia, so north, uh, center north, and uh, in Brescia. Uh, that is one of the provinces, the region more affected, unfortunately. But uh, for sure, the uh, people uh, that are in intensive therapy, so the, the most critical situation, uh, and uh, for which these hospitals uh, were very under pressure, high pressure, is now better. So let's say is uh, day by day back to a better situation, to a normal life. Let's say for everyone here. Uh, have you has your valley been particularly hit, or have you been okay? Have you been better than other valleys? Fortunately, a bit better because uh, the valley where we are, Gardona Valtrompia, is uh, up to up north from Brescia, while uh, the the area more affected has been at the beginning uh, the south part of Brescia, and uh, then Brescia, uh, so center. So is uh, not so bad here, even if of course we had the cases. Uh, of people affected by this uh, very, very bad virus also in, in the valley. But fortunately, not so many. Uh, so you have been making products that will help hospitals, haven't you? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, basically, we had uh, this opportunity at uh, the very, very beginning of the crisis uh, where um, when a, a doctor here in Brescia, uh, together with a, a consultancy company also here in Brescia, um, created this uh, solution, very small solution, of a valve that uh, can be um, plugged in in the Decathlon mask. So the one used by, to do snorkeling on the, on the, on the sea, basically. And uh, even if not officially certified, of course, at the very beginning, because th this takes time, but uh, by using this solution, uh, they have seen that uh, was very uh, useful for, for people that with uh, difficulties in breathing. So what we did is uh, to use our uh, uh, 3D print technology uh, that we have in, in, the, in the company, used normally to make samples, prototypes, uh, small series, uh, and uh, just getting this uh, math file from this uh, company that was an open source file, we use it and we start in, uh, we were started producing this, uh, this valve uh, that is a quite small piece uh, that uh, again, uh, together with this mask uh, was working pretty well. At a certain point was, uh, was also nice another, uh, another story that uh, we, we unfortunately finished the powder available and so uh, our uh, president uh, that was very keen to, to do this for the local uh, healthcare system uh, to, to give support uh, uh, was uh, basically asking through his, uh, his uh, LinkedIn profile uh, to all the possible companies uh, availability of this powder that we needed to, to, to produce it. So after just a day, we had a lot of uh, answers. So it was very, very nice this uh, uh, sensibility that we found in the in Italy, in a lot of uh, yeah, companies here in Italy. And in one day we were able to, to, to find it and we started again to produce the day after. So it was a very, very nice uh, a, a story uh, of many entrepreneurs very, very close to, to this uh, uh, situation and to, to give all the possible support. So there was enthusiasm locally. The locals were enthusiastic uh, in, the, in the healthcare system. Did you have any problems with certification? Did they say, no, you cannot use this, or did it just go straight through? Basically, of course, we, we couldn't certificate it. Uh, it was a more um, an experiment that was working. So at the local level, has been accepted by the hospital. So we had this freedom to start. And uh, it was for us uh, absolutely um, very, very, let's say, we were very happy to do something for a local society. 
that was really in that moment uh, now is different but in that moment uh, it was very very critical so people were really afraid and and these numbers growing every single day uh, were really putting under a big big pressure these hospitals that uh, didn't have really the the you know the neither the the standard tools to to support this uh, this uh, this bad uh, situation so it was uh, uh, a, a, big, a big pleasure for us to do that, uh, and uh, with, with our certification in agreement, of course, with the with the healthcare uh, uh, institution, uh, we we could anyway uh, provide uh, this uh, this bulb to this company that uh, assemble with the with the with the mask. Thank you, Danielle. Now here is Adrian Kutney from Browning. I hope that you are safe and at home. You know it. The only way we will defeat the coronavirus is showing unity. The first thing we can do, and we must do, is stay at home. But we, uh, Browning International, as a manufacturer, we can do much more. So that's why, since the very beginning of the crisis, Browning and Winchester has offered thousands and thousands of glasses, gloves and face masks to hospitals all around Liège in Belgium in order to help medics and nurses work in good condition. But we want to go, to go further. So that's why, since the very beginning, Browning International has produced some metallic and plastic pieces for respirators that will help people in their struggle for life. So once again, take care of you, stay at home, see you on the field and see you on Fieldsport Channel. Thank you, Adrian. And Blaza has been making masks at its facility at Isny in the south of Germany. Everyone's healthy. We didn't have any kind of horrible stories from, from any one of our employees. And, and that saying with, uh, with just about 500 people working in Germany, we're, I think we're very, very happy and grateful. And, and we should be grateful for that because uh, it's not kind of the situation in other businesses, in, in other, other um, people's groups. So uh, knock wood, very, very happy. Germany has been coping with this relatively well. Are, are they, is Germany seeing the same level of criticism of its government that we're seeing in the UK? I don't I don't think so. I mean, we're getting more criticism on doing too much and kind of going into people's freedom and, and into people's rights. But on a, on a more personal note, I think it's right. Um, let's rather do a bit too much for a couple of weeks than do too little and end up in a situation um, where people are dying unnecessarily. So uh, 100 percent, I'm I'm all for it. Good. Now, Blaza has been or the Blaza group has been helping uh, local uh, health care, haven't they? What 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 have what have you been doing? What have they been doing? So um, what we've been doing actually, as of Monday, in the state of Baden-Württemberg, in which Isny is, it's mandatory to wear a mask in all public places. Um, also, if you're going to work. So at the moment, we're producing masks for the Blaser Group for everyone in the business to wear when they're going to work. As Germany actually really coped quite well with the situation, we haven't been asked yet to produce anything for the government or for communities or something, but we would be ready to do so. So if the call comes, uh, if people need something, we can help with our factory to produce masks. Um, but at the moment, we haven't been asked. So at the moment, we are producing for our own group and all the other businesses that are in the group as well. Now, Blaza is a stylish brand. Are, are you happy with the, the the stylish nature of the masks? Well, I, I would have loved, I would have loved to see an Argali on our mask, um, but I understand in the time frame we had, and we had to produce these rather quick with the legislation coming in this week. Uh, unfortunately, there is no style element of an Argali on there yet. But who knows? Maybe the next batch will be with one. I I really hope so. Well, I hope you found that interesting. It's nice to see hunting and shooting sports part of the wider community even though it takes a tragic epidemic to make that happen stay safe and if you can tune in to field sports britain next wednesday at 7 p.m or if you're one of our backers one of our shareholders you can listen to my vlog on tuesday find out more about that at fchannel slash field sports nation i'll see you next week <laughs>